Hello everyone, my name is Maria Luisa and this is Nonviolence International New York. Today I'll be talking a little bit about how using visual arts can be a way to advocate for human rights. During my internship at Nonviolence International, I came across various different points of view and two subjects that I already knew. And I couldn't help but wonder if there is actually any limit in the ways that you can advocate for change. And so I went to the Museum of Modern Art in New York and I tried to see if paintings could portray and also be an advocate for change. The first picture that I would like to introduce is a picture that is one of the most famous artworks in the world and also one of the most famous artworks that is currently displayed in Roma. It's a picture by Pablo Picasso and it was painted in 1907. The name is Le Demoiselle d'Avignon, which literally translates to the little ladies of Avignon, which in its turn was a street in Barcelona that Picasso used to frequent in his youth. That is not the reason why I chose to analyze this picture today. I chose to analyze this picture because those five naked figures staring intensely at the viewer are actually prostitutes. In Picasso's way of portraying them, especially when he uses space, it makes you feel like the figures could actually exit the frame and approach the viewer, which make them very empowering and very strong. But do not be confused, this paint was not this painting was not meant to be feminist. Picasso was trying to portray his own desire, but I believed it unintentionally by making them so powerful and so strong, he first gave depth and voice to sex workers in a way that they have not had before. In my point of view, it's actually very groundbreaking and overwhelming. Now, I will refrain myself from presenting any other work done by a male artist. For as they say, it is easier for women to enter a museum as a naked muse than as a painter. This second painting, though small in size, is great in many. I present to you my grandparents, my parents and me, a family tree painted by the amazing Frida Kahlo in 1936. Like many of her other works, the artist portrays herself as the naked little girl in the center, holding the ribbon that ties her family tree. Kahlo is also self-portrayed as the fetus in her mother's womb, who in her turn is painted alongside Frida's father in their wedding photo. However, the central point of Kahlo's activism in this painting is done so by the representation of her grandparents. By putting her father's parents of German Jewish descendants side by side with her maternal Mexican grandparents in a time where race supremacist ideas were being widespread across Europe, Frida proudly enhances her mixed inheritance instead of shying away from it. The third and final artwork that I would like to present to you, though it was painted in 1967, is far from being outdated. The painting named Die by African-American artist Faith Ringo is described in the most random manner in the fifth floor of the MoMA. This work intends to portray the race riots that took place in the United States during the 60s, but it still comes to her mind every time she hears about the conflicts happening in America today. As you can see, it's very explicit how violence showcases in this painting. You can see individuals, both black and white, in the middle of the painting, running while well dressed, committing acts of cruel violence with lots of blood and tears. And right in the center of the painting, there is a very powerful image of two children, one white and one black, holding each other and crying. As you can see, visual art has a way to represent so many different things. It can represent the artist's feeling, his reality, or even the lack of it. However, it is also an amazing way to represent and advocate for human rights issues and causes. And it can either be by the artist's own intention, as we see in Carlos and Ringworth's work, or it's up to the viewer to make something of it. Thank you for watching. This has been Maria Luisa with Nonviolence International New York, and I really hope you have enjoyed my video. Ciao, ciao!